Hello everybody, friends, family, viewers, subscribers, new and old, welcome. Now I present you guys with a video that I did not expect myself to be making, again. Nor is this something that I want to do, because it takes away time, passion, creativity, and energy away from the content that I actually love to make. However, for those of you guys who know me personally, you know that I'm a man of principle. You know that I live by several principles. One of them being is that it ain't always about what you want to do. Sometimes it's about what you have to do. And I feel like that in this situation here, it's what I have to do. Now this involves one particular individual that I have spoken on before. That individual is Verlicify. Now I need to make a couple of disclaimers right now. Disclaimer number one. I am not doing this for views. I'm not doing this for subscribers. I'm not doing this for money. I'm not doing it for any of that stuff. I don't care about numbers. I care about being real. I care about being genuine. I care about getting my message out there. And I also care about defending people who either can't defend themselves or have trouble defending themselves. Second is that this video will most likely be split up into multiple parts because there is a lot to talk about. Which is why that you are seeing part one right now, and part two and possibly part three will be uploaded at later dates. But for right now, I'm going to be giving you guys a few things that I'm going to be talking about in this video. So with that being said, take this with a pinch of salt and come up with your own informed opinions before commenting. I know that I am not perfect. I never will be perfect. And I'm happy with that. I'd rather be the most imperfect person there is because I believe in the fact that we make mistakes. But it's another mistake to not acknowledge and fix the mistakes you have originally made. And that's one of the reasons why I'm making this video. It's because this individual fails to realize the error of his ways. So with that being said, let's go ahead and proceed. Right, so just who is Verlicify? Seems pretty easy enough. Verlicify is a YouTuber that is heavily associated and centralized around Pokemon. He is mainly a Poketuber. However, every now and then, and most recently, he is also someone that surrounds himself with controversy and with drama, all of which will be broken down in this video, as well as other parts too, as I mentioned before. There are going to be other parts because I don't want to make this video too long. He is also someone who is known for being a big VGC player, supposedly. However, he is also known for being anti-cheating and anti-Smogon. Now, I just want to say right now that not everyone is going to prefer Smogon, and that's okay. Everyone has their preferences. You want to play for the storyline? You want to play casually? You want to play Smogon? Play VGC? Play Broken Rules? Whatever? It's up to you. I don't judge you for how you play. Pokemon is meant to be played as how you want to play, as a carefree, very gentle, and very happy-go-lucky game. However, there are individuals that do not treat it as such and will go out of their way to make it very hostile. And that's not okay. That's one of the reasons why I'm making this video. So with that being said, I'm going to be going on to the next detail of this video, so stay tuned. So there are a lot of reasons why Verlicify gets hate, and I will be doing the very best I can to cover them in this video. So one of the reasons why Verlicify gets hate is because of his anti-Smogon videos. Now, understandably, it is going to be provoking some of the Smogon community into retaliating. I will say I do not condone any actions that go too far, such as doxing, such as death threats. Despite how much of a moron Verlicify may be, to people and to communities, he does not, nor does anybody, deserve death threats. I'm going to be neutral and frank about that, as I will be neutral and frank about everything in this video, or at least do the best I can. Another reason why he gets hate is because of his reputation and attacking various YouTubers, one of which he has attacked PokeMMD and falsely accused him of harassing him and flaming him down in which PokeMMD has never done. Another person that he has attacked would be Shofu. Another person he's attacked, Munch and Orange. 
Another person would be Shady Penguin, would be King Nappy, would be Nate Wants to Battle, Tamashi Hiroka, just to name a few. Now, the reason why he gets hate is because of his questionable sets for various Pokemon, some of which would be Fury Cut or Venusaur. Another example would be Heavy Slam, Curse Amnesia, Waylord. And I can understand how those sets may look really bad on paper. However, after, through explanation, I can kind of understand where he's coming from here. Now, the reason why I could say he gets hate is because of him lying about his success in pre previous BGC tournaments, such as him lying about going undefeated in regionals one year, in which he technically suffered a loss. I will say that the circumstances of that loss was very, very unsportsmanlike and definitely should have been handled better. However, on paper and in the record books, it shows that a loss is still a loss, even if it is through illegal means. It's because of his rather controversial and triggering anti-cheating videos, in which I will say right now, I don't support cheating. I never will, because let me give you guys a little backstory here. I am a three-time bodybuilding competitor. One of the ways that you can cheat in that sport is through taking steroids. I do not condone steroid use. As a matter of fact, I am very against steroid use. However, I've come to the understanding and come to the unfortunate acceptance of the fact that it is going to be running rampant regardless. There are always going to be cheaters. However, do not take it upon yourself to witch hunt and rat on those people. Let the authorities of the respective competitions take care of it. With that being said, let's go ahead and move on to the next detail of this video. So as you see here, attacking communities like Smogon and VGC. I have mentioned that previously, but I'm going to be going a little more into detail here. Now, he has made several anti-Smogon ranting-like videos, um, and one of them being infamously known as Smogon rules are not official or competitive. Now, there are so many things that's wrong with the video. However, I will say I agree with him on one thing. They are not official. Smogon is not an official uh, Pokemon battling format. However, I think it would be kind of cool if they were, because... They are about stability. They are about keeping the tiers, respectively, in balance, which I can completely understand and have a lot of respect for. However, as a metagame like VGC, where, in my opinion, I think is more unstable, however, instability does not always make it a bad thing. I think it's actually kind of fun. VGC is also official and drives a different form of competition. However, Verlissify has not just attacked Smogon, but also attacked VGC previously, also referring to Smogon and VGC players as over-competitive douchebags, most notably because of the lack of diversity that was last year in VGC 2015, which I can understand the frustration over the lack of diversity from last year in VGC. However, I do not condone the fact that he refers to them as over-competitive douchebags. You're in it to win it. Sure, there's creativity, but you're also in it to win it as well. That just goes without saying, because there is a big prize that's on the line. He has also went as far as to attack various VGC players, such as Ray Rizzo, such as Cybertron Aaron Zang, and now most recently attacked the likes of of Wolf Glit. So it's almost not clear as to why Felicify has such a vendetta with the likes of Smogon and VGC. VGC probably because of the fact that he was caught in a lie saying that he went undefeated one years in his regional runs when in fact that was proven false. Sure, he lost illegally due to unsportsmanlike conduct via timer stalling. However, the judges and the community still rules it as a loss no matter how bad it was. And I know that sounds really bad, but you can't reverse a judge's decision, unfortunately. And neutrally and professionally speaking, I don't agree with it. I definitely think that there was some injustice on that day. Nonetheless, the result is the result, and it is what it is. Now, one of the reasons why he persists with attacking Smogon is because of the fact that Smogon has, quote-unquote, stole his girlfriend. Where he made his In the State of Relistify video, he mentioned that his attitude got sour because of Smogon, hence why his girlfriend left him. Not to sound like a heartless maniac, but here's the thing. It's not Smogon's fault that 
your girlfriend left you, dude. It's your fault. You let them ruin you. You let them get your attitude sour when it's just an online thing. They don't have any affiliation with the Pokemon company itself. They are their own community. Just so happens, a very popular community. But all in all, they don't enforce themselves onto other people. That was just you letting your irrational thoughts run wild through your head. So with that being said, let's go ahead and move on to the next section of this video. So this next reason why Verlicify gets hate is a pretty big one. And I'll be going into details on this one as well. So one of the YouTubers that comes to mind right off the bat when it comes to Verlicify attacking them is Tamashi Hiroka. As you can see beside me, there is a tweet that was directed at Tamashi, but funny, he didn't tag her on Twitter. I wonder why. Anyways, this tweet reads, and I quote, Honestly, it seems like Tamashi is just going to be a Twitch cam girl to make more money with less passion. Okay, buddy. First of all, if she wants to be a Twitch streamer, that's her choice. Okay? Women are just as capable and in the right of being a Twitch streamer as a man is. I really don't understand what your beef is with Tamashi to begin with anyways, other than the fact that I think that you are incredibly jealous of the fact that she is more successful than you are, and the fact that she is loved more than you are, because she doesn't go out of her way to attack various YouTubers, whereas you, on the other hand, do exactly that. So the next person that Verlicify had attacked is a little bit of an old issue, but I want to add this issue in this section of the video to further prove my point here. And the person that he attacked happens to be Magnitude, a.k.a. Steve. Now, I'm going to link you to a video that Steve did on Verlicify, and it's going to contain some screenshots that uh, not only defend Magnitude, but also prove his point in the said video. And it just goes to show that Verlicify is not above attacking smaller YouTubers for fame and for notoriety and to deface other people, make them look bad, and make him look better. So another example here in this section is when Verlicify and Pyrodas had a scuffle. Now, this came about in a very weird situation here. Basically, it started out when Verlicify commented on one of Pyrodas' Uh, videos which revolved around team building and I actually have the screenshot right here if I may read it and it goes like this this is a weak guide you lost me with tears since they are 100% unofficial and useless in true competitive battling now I kind of don't really get what he's saying there uh, other than the fact that if he's referring to uh, Smogon being unofficial and uh, VGC being official, then okay, I can kind of see a little bit where he's coming from. But you're talking about two completely different metagames, and you're in your VGC mindset, whereas Pyrodas is in his Smogon mindset, okay? This team setup has no use at all because of weakness spread. Having whatever fits your style works the most. Kind of don't understand what he's getting at there, but whatever. Predictions are also not for beginners. It is something you learn over time by getting a feel for the game. No shit. And this is the real bit that r pushed Tommy over the edge into making this video. I made a real guide on developing strategies on my channel. I don't feel like this one does a good job. Right, okay, so not only did he advertise on Tommy's channel, which is something that you don't do if you want to be an aspiring YouTuber, is going around and advertising yourself on people's channels. That's what's going to get people pissed off. But he also put down this guide and says that he doesn't feel this one does a good job. Okay. Well, this, I will say, look, it is a Smogon team building guide, whereas the kind of guides that you build would be something along the line of casual play or VGC. It doesn't revolve so much around Smogon because you're not a Smogon guy. So I felt like that this comment was not only out of place uh, in terms of your wording and your intent, but given the fact that just the fact that you advertised yourself on this other person's channel, it destroys your credibility in your point to begin with. Now, I will actually link you guys to the video in the description box down below that points out and breaks down these comments here. I will say that this video does come off a little bit aggressive, not only in the title, but in the video as well. But nonetheless, the points that he makes are very well justified and uh, very well sound. So let's go ahead and move on. So another example of this point would happen to be when last year, Verlicify picked a fight with Proto Mario. 
Now, I understand that this issue has since been resolved, so I'm not going to go too much into detail on it because everything's been deleted, such as, you know, the response videos and the tweets and all that stuff. But pretty much a little bit of a backstory here. Proto Mario made a video in regards to the Boston incident where the police prevented a possible massacre. And what Proto Mario did is he took on this issue from a different perspective, from a completely right down the middle neutral perspective, where he talked about uh, the intent possibly uh, as to why those people brought you know guns in their cars, whether it be to shoot up the place or if they were going to a range or something like that. The thing of it is, is that uh, Proto Mario did that video in a very neutral and lawyer-like fashion, which I will commend him for it because he brought up some really good points. Verlissify decided to take that and misquote Proto Mario and twist around words and also make it look like that Proto Mario uh, said things and done things that he didn't actually do. And I thought that was a pretty scummy thing for Verlissify to do, especially given the fact that Proto Mario is someone who since supported Verlissify before the incident, and I know that they're cool now, which is why I said I'm not going to be going too much more into detail. So let's move on. So clearly you can see that there are multiple examples of this sort of repeat behavior. If you don't agree with Verlissify, if you have something against one of the things that Verlissify says, then expect to be attacked and either swarmed by his fans or something worse. He will tweet about it or he will actually make a video about it and to profit off of this controversy. So I feel like I spent enough time on this part of the video, but I did bring up the next part, that being the fans. So let's go. Lovely person you guys look up to there, Wolfpack. Let me tell you something. You guys aren't safe even. If you guys were to so step slightly out of line, such as disagreeing or rebutting one of his statements or one of his videos, he will attack you. He will be malicious and attack you. There are countless videos that prove exactly that. And as a matter of fact, I will link you to a video that has a ton of screenshots that show exactly your kind of behavior towards your own fan base. It's honestly disgusting. I don't understand how somebody like you can have so many fans, yet you treat them like shit. Let me tell you something. It's because of your fans that you have that big house. It's because of your fans that you got clothes on your back. It's because of your fans that you have a channel that is almost at 230,000 people subscribed. It's because of your fans that you are where you are. It ain't because of you. You are someone that doesn't deserve that kind of fan base. I know several other YouTubers that work twice as hard as you do that deserve the kind of support that you have and yet you abuse. You willingly abuse and yet you are too blind to see it. But let me show you one particular screenshot right beside me that is just, it is absolutely disgusting. And I can't believe that you would say something like this over a game. This person made a fair criticism in one of your videos, and he debunked your theory of Volcarona being a Mega Lucario counter. And how did you respond? You responded with zero intelligence by saying this. Another hater that needs to drink base liquids. How can anyone be this dumb? Let me tell you something. Do you even know what base liquids are? Allow me to educate you there, puppy. Base liquids are things like bleach, things like detergent, things like borax, things like window cleaner. You know, the stuff that can actually fucking hurt you if you were to consume that stuff. And maybe even worse, kill you. So, I don't understand how you could be so plain-ass malicious over something that you say is a carefree, whimsical, happy-go-lucky game like Pokemon. But yet, you treat it so much hostile. I don't understand you, dude. And as someone that used to be subscribed to you until you attacked my friend and then attacked me for defending him and then blocking me, I don't understand it. You know, like, let me, let me tell you something. And this is me being personal here. 
I'm going to be 100% personal and real with you. You see, a couple years ago, I was going through a really rough patch. You know, a lot of personal things, a lot of personal issues was going on with me. Not just with work, but outside that too. I came across Felicify and subscribed to him because he was someone that I looked up to. He was someone whose content actually kept me sane during my time of hardships. He was actually someone that I religiously watched and would defend. When back, he had his war with Smogon, and even still to this day, does. But when I seen how he treated his fans, and when I seen the truth, when I seen and knew the real situation, I'm just like, wow, I did not know that. And I was a fucking moron for defending him when all he did was attack Smogon for no reason which I have already shown and talked about in this video. But that right there, it's just, it's honestly disgusting how you treat your fan base and don't even take anything into consideration before speaking. You speak before you think. Are you the kind of person that shoots before you aims? Because you fire off a lot of shots in the dark before even taking aim and even more taking the reconsideration factor into play, that being, wait a minute, maybe I shouldn't be attacking these people. Wait a minute, maybe I shouldn't be saying these kind of things because these people actually support me. They pay for my house. They pay for my food. They pay for my clothes. Let me tell you something. If I was in your shoes and I had all of that, all of it, I would be in heaven. I would be head over heels every single day. Because my dream had just come true. Let me tell you something. My dream already has come true. And that dream is the fact that I am inspiring and making friends on here every single day. And I keep it real. I don't attack people. If someone wants to give me fair criticisms, guess what? I open the doors and say, let's go. I want to hear from you because your guys' constructive criticisms is what makes me improve as a better content creator. But Felicify don't seem to think so. He thinks that because you're criticizing him, you're attacking him, and therefore he gets to be all aggressive on you. And if that wasn't bad enough, he also actually profits off of embarrassing his own fan base. He has made a bunch of videos where he highlights people's comments that make fair criticisms and he makes fun of them. He calls them stupid. He call he make he calls names on his own fan base. I can't believe that you'd even deface your own fan base, man. How, how fucking low can you be? Well, you know what? Things are about to get just a little bit lower from here. So this next one is a pretty funny thing to talk about here, and that is Verlicify and his hypocrisy. Where do I even begin? Seriously. I, I mean it. Where, where do I even begin with this? I don't I don't understand this like honestly okay okay let me let me go ahead and get in with the first example here so he claims that he is very anti-cheating that he is against cheating and that even gl glitch exploitation like cloning is cheating <coughs> um okay well what about the time in your 2500 subscribers video where you actually endorsed and promoted instacheck which happens to be a glitch that was in Pokemon X and Y that was patched up. Hmm? The one where you could see your shiny egg values, and not to mention also see your opponent's movesets. I'm pretty sure that is cheating, because you are gaining an unfair advantage in battle against your opponent when you have no business knowing what your opponent's moves are until revealed. But yet, here you are claiming that Cloning, which is a glitch exploit, is cheating. <coughs> um, yeah, um, <laughs> I think uh, we're uh, already being outweighed by your hypocrisy here, but let me go through another example. You also complain about clickbait, such as people using false images, false tags, fake mods in their thumbnails, but yet, what the fuck are all with these check marks here in your videos? Check mark this, check mark that, check mark this. I don't understand it. It's like it's like you 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 bitch and complain incessantly about clickbait, yet you're the one that puts these stupid check marks in your videos because it's clickbait. 
As a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, I'll even go one step further and show you a screenshot right here, which further proves my point of hypocrisy. Yes, I'm talking about where he is now going to intentionally make spelling mistakes just so people can actually comment down below and point out those mistakes so that he can have more engagement in his videos and more profit. Do you see where I'm going with this here? Holy shit, dude! Like, if there... <laughs> I swear to God, man, you remind me of Keemstar. You remind me, as a matter of fact, people refer to you as the Keemstar of the Pokemon community, a.k.a. someone that nobody likes. But yet, somehow you get all the support because of the next point that I'm going to be providing with you right here. This right here is a big one. And it's also hilarious, too. It really is. I mean, you can tell from the rather large lettering that this is, without a doubt, one of the biggest issues and one of the biggest things that Prolicify is known for, and that is playing victim. He plays the victim card so many times. He plays you guys like a fiddle. When are you guys going to understand that it is a simple rinse and repeat pattern that he does every single time? Creates controversy. Plays victim. Profit. Yeah, he profits off of creating controversy, whether it's attacking another YouTuber for no reason, whether it is attacking a community, whether it's doing whatever stupid shit that he does. He profits off of the controversy because you guys fall for it. You guys buy into it. And then when he realizes that, when he realizes he's getting some backlash, when he realizes that it's just too hot for the little puppy to understand, <laughs> he plays victim. He plays victim. That's all he does. He plays victim. <laughs> and you guys fall for it. It's, it's so funny that it's really sad at this point. Because I have long since realized and figured out his repeat pattern behavior. It's in three simple steps, too. <laughs> like, what the hell? I don't understand it. Because it's, it's, honestly, it's honestly so easy to spot. He doesn't care about any of you guys. All he cares about is the numbers. All he cares about is the figures. All he cares about is the profit. That's it. That's all you guys are to him. And he's going to continue to play the victim card every single time to tell you otherwise. But we all know, or at least anyone who realizes his shit knows that he's full of shit. I really don't know what else I can say about this, so I'm going to wrap up this video with one final point. Right, so in conclusion, there is a lot more crap that needs to be discussed here. But I'm going to end this video off right here because I feel like that this video has more than exceeded the time limit of my desire. So this right here is going to be part one, and this is, simply put, just to give you guys a little bit of an idea on the kind of person that Prolicify is. Now, like I said, there is a lot more stuff that needs to be talked about, such as some stuff that he said that is very, very incriminating against him, such as things like defamation, such as things like witch hunts, all that stuff, all of which will be talked about in much later videos. So with that being said, I'm going to end this video off right here. I would like to thank all of you guys that sat through this video for this long very much for watching this video. Now, I'm not going to ask you to like it. I'm not going to ask you to subscribe. You do what you want. You're your own person. If you like this video, you like this video. If you dislike it, you dislike it. If you choose to subscribe for this video, then by all means, go ahead. But I will say, do not subscribe to me for videos like this. However, it's your choice. I am not going to stop you. So with that being said, I hope you guys have yourself a good night, morning, evening, wherever you may be, and I will see you guys next video. Take care.